it's Freya. We will teach you how to make the coolest Earth Day activity in this video. You will create your own characters. You will record your own sounds. You will connect code blocks to make your story come to life. What you create in this video will teach others how they can help save the Earth on Earth Day. My dad, Ty, a computer engineer, will help us. He has taught coding classes at my school. Dad, how do we get started? Hi, I'm Ty. Today I'm going to show you how to create an interactive project for Earth Day. I really want you to succeed in making this project. The first step is just to simply watch this video. That's it. I did something to make it super easy for you to do that. I created this free printable guide that shows you step by step how to make the project. It includes a section showing you how to install the free Scratch Junior app if you don't already have it. I'll give you a link to this guide at the end of the video. If you get stuck on the project or have any questions about Scratch Junior, I'm here to help you. You can post your questions in the comments below this video. We're going to create this project in 10 simple steps. Let's get started. Click on the Scratch Junior icon to start the app. Select the button that looks like a home. Create a new project. Change the background for your project. Choose your character. Remove the cat. Draw the trash can next. Choose your color for the trash can. Select the square tool and draw your trash can. Click the fill tool and fill your trash can. Click on the checkbox to confirm you're done. So let's just position our characters on the stage here. Now let's draw our recycle bin. So we need a square box. We need a blue recycle color. Let's draw our bin. We're going to fill it in with blue. Now we're going to put a little recycle symbol with white. We're going to click white. We're going to click our triangle. We're going to click a thicker line for our triangle. And then we're just going to draw it. There you go. And then just click the check mark and we're done. Now let's just position our recycle bin over here. And we're almost there. Now let's draw something that can be recycled. I'm going to draw a plastic water bottle. Now let's draw something for the trash. We're going to draw a piece of white paper. There. Now we're going to record a voice message for our character. Select our character. Select the green category. Select the record button. Click the red dot here to start recording. Speak. When you're done, click the stop button. Then click the check. Now let's add some code blocks to our character so that they can play the sound we recorded. Now let's add some code blocks to our recycled item and our trash item so that when you click on them, they go into the right bins. Let's turn on the grid to help us. If you count the squares, you can see our recycled item needs to move over to the right nine squares and down one square. Select our recycled item. Go to the yellow events. Get the when touched event and put it down here. Now we said we want to move 
the item over nine and down one. So we get our over to the right item here and we get our down item here. Then we change this to a nine and we already have our down one. Then what we want to do is when it gets to the can, we want to make it disappear. So we go over here and we get the disappear block to make it look like it goes into the can. And then we just add an end block and that's it. Let's try it out just to make sure it works right. Click on your recycled item. Perfect. It disappeared just like we wanted. For the trash item, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to select the trash item. We're going to count over. It looks like it's three over and three down. So we're going to start with our touch event here. We're going to drag it over here. Then we're going to get our move blocks. We're going to move it three over and three down. And we're going to change this to a three. And we're going to change this one to a three. Then we're going to make it disappear when it touches the can with the hide block over here. And then we're going to attach an end block to it and that should be it. Let's test the trash item out to make sure we got it right. So just click on the trash item. There you go. Perfect. Hey, it's Freya again. Let's run our project to see it in action. Click the full screen button at the top. Now, click the green flag to run our program. Click on the items to see which one goes in the recycle bin and which one goes in the trash bin. Click on the recycled item. Now click on the trash item. Congratulations! If you made it to this point in the video, you've taken the first step to making this project. The next step is to download the free guide and print it out. You can get this guide by visiting the link shown on the screen now. You can also find the link below in the description.